Welcome back everyone. Um, this video is about pattern matching examples. <coughs> examples for pattern matching essentially in four areas for constant values, discriminated unions, tuples and records. Uh, so let's go to the code section. Uh, for this particular example I have created uh, three uh, types this is a simple discriminated union of int case int val case string val case and no value case and then there is another uh, union for two cases employee and non-employee in the name of uh, in the case of non-employee we only have a name string field and in case of an employee we have a name um, and an employee id and then there is a record type which uh, has the, the first and the second so uh, I'll just keep on lifting quote from here and talk about it one by one so this is very similar to uh, the when we discussed pattern matching basics uh, the this this particular example is very similar to um, the one discussed in the previous video uh, here you are doing pattern matching on a constant value uh, or, or for constant cases not for constant value here and in, in all these examples I have created functions but uh, remember you are free to use pattern matching in, in more than one way there are various ways you can use pattern matching this is just one way these are functions I mean nearly all the examples and we are doing pattern matching on the argument and this is a case of constant value for a number if the number is one you are returning string two is another string and any other case you're saying no idea similarly this is when you're doing pattern matching on a string uh, it's just the same except that the cases are now string values okay so just to quickly run these i'll say one goes to uh, this goes to print and percentage a and then this uh, let me make it two um, because this function requires string argument and let's see what happens so one becomes one and two becomes two right on uh, okay then we have uh, examples for discriminated union I'll just copy these all right so this particular example is when we are doing a pattern matching of for this particular discriminated union type and the what's wrong here Oh, the type is redefined sorry so uh, this function is this is the parameter and you are doing pattern matching on this parameter the reason you don't need to mention the type is because from pattern matching and the cases that that are mentioned in the pattern matching the compiler can figure out that IRS is into string okay now this bit is expression if if the case is a match what is the expression which is the value the output of the whole uh, pattern matching expression here we have cases and for each case these are the case names and case names in case of no value there is no associated value in case of int val or string val you get the value which is the actual value associated with that case inside if it is in if it is in the int val case you get the uh, the value in i if it is in the string val case you get the value in the in the s uh, variable and after that it's pretty straightforward we are using string interpolation the, what happens in most of these examples in the result side on the result side is not really uh, the perfect example but it gives you an idea that if it is an int well we are saying found an integer 
int val found a string uh, and the, the the string value and in this uh, in this case nothing so if i say uh, int val one goes to this goes to printfn percentage a and then i say string val this and then if i say no val so let's run what hap let's see what happens so in what in the first case it says found integer the reason you are seeing double quotes is because i am using percentage a if i use s these double quotes will not appear okay so uh, the first case is when i am passing int val 1 and it says found integer value 1 in the other case i am passing 1 but that one is a string not an integer so you see found string value 1 and the third case is obvious found nothing this this particular example is an extension of this one where pattern matching becomes more powerful where you can add conditions so same case this is here but i i have added one more case which says int well i when i is equals to 10 so pattern matching allows you to not only pattern match it allows you to uh, incorporate more than just matching off the possibilities it it it, it allows you um, various type based comparisons which we will discuss in future it allows you conditions which we will discuss a glimpse of it you will see today so we are saying if if it is uh, read it like if if this condition is true and this condition is true that this i or s is an int well case which means this case which then it must have i which is the integer associated in that case and that i should be equals to 10 and then we are saying found integer value 10 rest of the function is same so if you found this and the value was 10 this is the value the, the expression otherwise this case or this case or this case so we will just run instead of running the previous function we will run this and we will also say 10 so you can see uh, no surprises now we have one more discriminated union example of uh, a visitor matching function which is this one you have employee of name and employee id non-employee of name and this is how you are deconstructing employee of name and employee id of name and employee id and you don't be confused about if you have to use the same names you can use x and y as long as it matches the pattern okay the the key here is not names the key here is patterns so if in the employee case you will get name and employee id and in case of non-employee case you will get only the name and then the remaining is just a printing uh, example or rather constructing a string message example which is which is then printed or can be printed like this all right now we have tuple examples so oh oh So the first one is the most <laughs> unuseful uh, example but uh, remember I talked about when I talked about pattern uh, tuples I said tuples are deconstructed or once you have a tuple how do you extract values out of it you, you write something like this let x comma y equals to 1 comma 2 
and when i talked about pattern deconstruction i said it's pattern deconstruction via pattern matching so this is what it it, it actually is behind the scenes that you if you have a tuple you can do a pattern match uh, from a usability standpoint this is not the perfect example so look let's look at another example so here we have a tuple of int int and we are saying match tuple when the first value is 0 if this was 0 and the second value is anything you don't care so you are printing first value is 0 second value is what it is the reverse of it the second the second value is 0 you don't care what the third value is okay oh, sorry the first value is and if both these are if both these cases are not met you end up with x and y or the first value and the second value both being non zero <coughs> And this is another example of uh, matching over a tuple. You're saying match a two, uh, two value tuple, break it down into x and y. When x is greater than y, here, and break it down into x and y, when y is greater than x, and if nothing, if both these cases are not true, it seems both the values are same and you can see I am using uh, the underscore wildcard case here because that's the only third possibility uh, which is left in this particular example. So uh, you can break down a tuple and combine with when conditions to get uh, more comprehensive examples. There's one more example. Uh, which is mentioned here on the website. Uh, no, I thought there is one more example. Never mind. And here are the examples for. Uh, mm, the record types, so I'll, I'll quickly copy these ones and this is for full name uh, which is of type this first and second and you, again it's just the pattern you are matching you are practically using the same uh, expression which is required for uh, record construction this first is this and this second is this and this first and second is just variable so you again you can use x and y and you can use x and y so what you are saying here is but if there is a record match it with this pattern first and second will get values of the first and second uh, fields now this is again not the most use, useful example so here is another example which is a function with full name just so up to this point these two functions are same and then you are searching for the first name so you are saying break down full name this into this and run this case this one when first equals to search first name which is via a parameter and if you find if, if this case is a match you print a different message or you sorry you construct a different output string which is this name is a match uh, for first and second otherwise first name you are saying first name isn't uh, this so this this exemplifies uh, how you can do pattern matching over records and also do uh, include where or when conditions to uh, have more uh, complex cases in a in a pattern match i'll just give you one more uh, uh, a few more examples of tuples because they, they are helpful in in establishing certain ideas so imagine you have a tuple like this or you have a tuple this and somewhere down you need to use the first item of tuple or and somewhere down below you need to use the second uh, item of tuple 
Now there are various ways to do it. The first and the, the um, in this case you can use FST, which is a built-in function with F sharp, which is returns the first element of a tuple. FST A B, a tuple of A and B will return A B. So you can say FST T let X equals to and FST Y equals to I think it's S and D here, yeah, second. The returns the returns the, the the second element of a tuple. If you have A and B, A, you will get B. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, I'll just quickly implement these two functions for you to to give you uh, a better view of how you can write your own pattern matching. So you can simply say let first of tuple. And I'm just doing this for uh, two value tuples. You can extend this for any any uh, number of values you like. And you can say top equals to match top with what have I written? With now remember what we are need, what we need to do is extract the first value out of tuple so we say x and y and we are returning x sorry if you pay attention y is not used at all in this this will this function will work perfectly fine because you you pass in a tuple and you pattern match it against x and y and all you are interested is in x because you want the first value out of the tuple so you are saying if x and y is a match, the result of this this case is x and that becomes the result of this function. So this is what you need to do. Okay. When you don't need a value, you will often find uh, underscores to, to denote the fact that these values are not used. Otherwise, you will keep on seeing either warnings or these grayed out uh, things in your IntelliSense which are not not the most appealing to your eyes. So it's a from a hygiene perspective, it's a good habit to use underscores to detect. So underscore is a wildcard case also, but it's, it's the case part. When you are extracting values out of something, underscore means you are not interested in the values. Just do the pattern match, you, you don't care about the value. And if you have to do the similar function and say second, the, you, you are interested in the second of tuple. So you will just change this to underscore y and y. So what you are doing here is you have a tuple, you are doing a pattern match of any two values. You are not interested in the first value, you are only interested in the second value. That becomes the outcome of this match expression and that becomes the outcome of this function. So we will just quickly run example of uh, we will combine these and these in the example. So we have 1 and 2 and we will say FST T percentage A and instead of using FST we will use R function. Similarly we will use SND and second of tuple. So these two lines should result should get you the same result, and these two lines should get you the same result. Right? -o? So once again, uh, everything that I talked about is uh, is given on the blog as well as the code is committed. Uh, quickly summarizing, we talked about constant uh, matching against constant values, discriminated unions, tuples and records. These are the ones we will need uh, for coming, uh, you know, topics or uh, areas we will venture into. And once we are, ex we are, we have exhausted our understanding, uh, we will go to uh, cover more examples. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you. See you later. Bye.